As many as 50% of women who've given birth one or more times will have some degree of vaginal prolapse. Vaginal prolapse or pelvic prolapse is in essence a hernia of the vaginal wall. Women that have had multiple pregnancies or because of the lack of estrogen, sometimes genetic predisposition, will have weaker tissues and her organs may herniate through the vaginal wall. In more severe cases, the condition affects bodily functions and quality of life. Women may have incontinence. Some women may just feel a bulge coming out of their vagina that's uncomfortable. They may have discomfort with sexual activity. Many times it requires surgery, especially when it impacts the bladder or rectum. One of the more effective treatments, sacrocolpopexy, which pulls up the vagina and attaches it to the sacrum. This operation has been done for years and years and years with very good results. The success rate of sacrocolpopexy is over 95%. Doctors are now performing a cutting-edge alternative that doesn't require cutting using the Da Vinci robot. We are able to do the same operation instead of through an open incision through several small little incisions robotically with the magnification that the robotic surgery allows you. Patients do very well. And robotic surgery for prolapse actually survived all the FDA issues pertaining to uh, vaginal surgery and meshes. Healing time and recovery are greatly reduced with robotic surgery. Women are back to their normal activities in a matter of days. Prolapse patients range from their 20s to 80s, but not everyone is a candidate for this procedure. The key for this operation is that there has to be significant weakness of the top of the vagina, what we call the apex of the vagina, the vaginal cuff. It's about giving women the support they need for a painful and embarrassing condition. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.